Apple has introduced a new MacBook Air, finally replacing the popular laptop that it hadn't updated since 2015, adding a retina display and touch ID. The new MacBook Air is crafted from recycled aluminium to make it the most environmentally friendly laptop you can get, and there's a choice of three colors, gold, silver and space gray. The MacBook Air still has a 13.3 inches screen, but this time there are four times more pixels, that's 4 million pixels, a 2K display. That's a 2560x1600 native resolution at 227 pixels per inch. Apple claims the colors are more lifelike. The new model uses Intel's 8th generation dual-core Coffee Lake CPU and the integrated Intel UHD Graphics 617. It also offers support for Thunderbolt 3 enabled external graphics processors, Eggpose. The new Air offers up to 16GB RAM, which is twice as much as the last generation. And you can get a 1.5TB SSD. It's a far cry from the 64GB SSD in the MacBook Air when it first launched 10 years ago in 2008. However, Apple is still selling the 2015 MacBook Air for £949, so you can still get a Mac laptop for under £1,000, but it's an old model. If you shop around you can actually get some very good deals for this model. Many UK retailers are selling the older model for under £800 and it's likely US retailers are offering similar deals. Under no circumstances buy the entry-level MacBook Air from Apple where it will cost you nearly £200 more. You can see some deals above. We also have a Best MacBook Air Deals article. If you were hoping the rumors that the new MacBook Air would cost less than £1,000 or $1,000 you will be disappointed. The new model starts at £1,199 or $1,199. Apple says it's its cheapest laptop with a retina display. The Apple Mac Mini, 2018, was a long time coming, but it's been worth the wait. This brilliantly designed small form factor computer packs in some impressive specs and pulls off neat tricks to do so. It's not cheap, but it's priced very competitively compared to other smaller PCs, especially considering what it's capable of. The new Apple Mac Mini, 2018, makes good on Apple's promises that it hadn't forgotten about its small form factor Mac. Despite being fan favorites, the Mac Mini hasn't seen a decent update for four years now, but with the arrival of the new Mac Mini, that's all changed. On paper it looks like the long wait was worth it, with Apple claiming that the Mac Mini, 2018, is five times faster than the previous Mac Mini. This performance increase comes by way of some impressive spec bumps including a maximum RAM limit of 64GB and up to a 6-core processor. The Mac Mini is also now being positioned as a tool for creators, with Apple claiming that it's 30 times faster at encoding HEVC video. It also has a bunch of ports on the back, and while there's just one HDMI port, there are four Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports to pick up the slack. The Mac Mini runs with desktop grade 8th generation Intel Core processors in quad and hexa-core iterations, so we had high hopes for its computing power. According to Apple, its new square-shaped desktop delivers five times the amount of performance over its predecessor. With the Apple Mac Mini being aimed at creatives, which usually rely on intensive software applications and editing large files, the Apple Mac Mini, 2018, more so than previous versions, needs to be able to keep pace. 
the choice of quad and hexa-core 8th gen Intel core processors with turbo boost speeds of up to 4.6 GHz, and support for up to 64 GB of 2,666 MHz memory, which is four times the maximum amount the Mac Mini 2014 could handle, will definitely keep the Apple Mac Mini feeling fast and responsive for most tasks, and allows it to handle multiple tasks at once thanks to the generous helpings of RAM. Unlike previous iPhone launches, it's not immediately obvious which iPhone you should buy if you want the best, or rather, the iPhone XS is clearly the flagship model, but the iPhone XR, launching a month later, has some features which are better than its sibling. So, find out the important differences before you choose which new iPhone X is right for you. Series 4 represents a fundamental redesign and re-engineering of Apple Watch, from the curved corners of the larger, all-new display to the architecture of the S4 chip, every detail has been thoughtfully considered, Apple Watch has always been a uniquely personal product, and now it's even more powerful, the display is the defining feature of Apple Watch, and Series 4 pushes it further than ever, the challenge was to make it bigger without noticeably increasing the size of the case or compromising the battery life. Narrower borders enable a viewing area that's over 30% larger, while a new display technology called LTPO improves power efficiency, helping you get through the day on a single charge. Curved corners precisely match the radius of the case, creating a more pleasing, continuous appearance. This also allows imagery in the touch surface to extend to the furthest reaches of the screen. To take full advantage of the new dimensions of the display, the entire interface has been redesigned to provide more information with richer detail. The new Infograph watch face can accommodate up to eight complications, so you can see more and do more at a glance. The digital crown was invented to provide an easy way to navigate on Apple Watch without obstructing the display. With Apple Watch Series 4, the mechanism has been totally re-engineered. Haptic feedback now delivers a precise, click-like feel as you scroll. Already one of the most intricate systems Apple has created, the digital crown on Apple Watch Series 4 adds even more capability into significantly less space. The entire assembly is 30% smaller, yet includes 21% more components. The optical heart sensor has been part of Apple Watch from the beginning, allowing you to quickly check your heart rate. Now it can also detect if your heart rate falls below a specified threshold for a period of 10 minutes when you appear to be inactive triggering a low heart rate notification. This can be a sign of bradycardia, which can be serious if the heart is not pumping enough oxygen-rich blood around the body. 
overpriced Apple products are going to become even more expensive. Starting in January, the U.S. is set to increase tariffs on $200 billion in imports from China to 25% from 10%, which Xi Jinping is hoping to delay with the upcoming meeting. According to Trump, it's unlikely he will hold off on implementing the upcoming increase. Apple devices are currently exempt from tariffs, though there were worries that the Apple Watch and AirPods would be included in the most recently released tariff lists. Trump ended up exempting a product category that includes the Apple Watch, AirPods, and other smartwatches and fitness products. Apple has previously sent letters to the Trump administration urging it not to apply tariffs that would affect Apple products, instead urging the government to find other, more effective solutions. Apple said implementing the tariffs would lead to low U.S. growth and competitiveness, along with higher prices for U.S. consumers. Back in July, Apple CEO Tim Cook commented on the tariffs, saying that Apple was optimistic the issue would be sorted out, with the company ultimately hoping calm heads prevail. Apple's stock has dropped in after hours trading following Trump's remarks. And last but not least, the new iPad Pro 2018. Apple's redesigned iPad Pro cuts back on connectivity and ups its price. Known simply as iPad Pro, the revamped 2018 model was unveiled at Apple's iPad and Mac event in October alongside the new MacBook Air and Mac Mini. Apple's new iPad Pro for 2018 replaces the discontinued 12.9 inches iPad Pro 2017 but sits alongside the 10.5 inches iPad Pro from the same year. Apple has made several changes to the iPad Pro formula for this model. Some of them are minor adjustments, such as a revamped smart keyboard and screen size changes, others the major, like the introduction of Face ID, a new liquid retina display and an all-new design. Oh, and the headphone jack has now gone for good. The iPad Pro 2018 looks noticeably different from previous iPads, with one notable omission is the removal of the Touch ID home button. It also features a reduced bezel, a more angular form factor, and a screen that stretches, almost, to the edges of the tablet. As with practically every iPad announcement, it's also the thinnest iPad ever, measuring just 5.9 mm in thickness. The tablet retains Apple's Retina display, as seen in the iPhone Tenor, which Apple promises brings industry-leading color accuracy in addition to true tone balancing and low-light reflectivity. With the iPad Pro 2018 model, Face it has finally come to the iPad. Like the recent iPhone XS, Apple has dropped Touch ID in favor of the facial recognition tech which can work in both portrait and landscape mode. Face it can also be used to log into apps and authorize payments. To facilitate Face it, the front of the tablet has Apple's true depth camera system, with three cameras that also aid in Memoji and group FaceTime functions. The rear 12 megapixel camera allows for augmented reality apps. 4K video shooting and document scanning. Apple suggests the tablet will have a 10-hour battery life, although we'll have to run our own test to find out for sure. In comparison, when we tested last year's 12.9 inches iPad Pro 2017, it ran for over 12 hours. If you would like to see more videos related to Macintosh computers or Apple products in general, please go to my channel, Addicted to Macintosh, and look at the playlists. There are many videos on many different Apple products, including Mac OS High Sierra. You can also check my bootcamp playlist. There are many videos on how to install Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 on a Macintosh. Check it out. Aditya Macintosh, YouTube channel. Hundreds of Apple related videos uploaded. Thank you for sharing, subscribing, liking, and... Aditya Macintosh, YouTube channel. Hundreds of Apple related videos uploaded. Thank you for sharing, subscribing, liking, and viewing. Viewing.